Right, we're giving you answers on the city's plan to address smelly sewers. Mm, they've used the same chemical for 20 years to treat the smell. As KMBC 9's Alan Shope explains, they have a new approach to problem spots. Once it gets hot and steamy downtown, them sewers are really noticeable. Good thing it's a cool, windy Tuesday outside the Quaff Sports Bar. Their smelly sewer just down the street won't be kicking out odors on this day or many other days the rest of the summer. We've been taking a more data-driven, proactive approach to making sure our sewers smell better. City Manager Brian Platt says one way they're doing that, adding chemical blocks to drains to help fight mold and fungus and mildew and odors and insects and all the things that cause those smells. Yeah, it can be a stinky problem. Platt Platt says it's part of the recently passed $750 million sewer and water bond. He says as more work gets done on the sewers, the less folks will continue to notice smells in the drain. Some of the flow issues are resolving themselves because we've got just better infrastructure. The city says stinky sewers are actually one of the biggest complaints they get all year long. And that's because folks like Kiana King, who live near one of these drains, have to deal with them and smell them every day. It's bad. It's just bad. Platt says already the new chemical drain blocks added to the target areas are making a difference. We're hearing that some of the smellier areas historically are just smelling better these days. And that's like a whiff of fresh air to businesses like the Quad. We used to have Folgers coffee down the street. You could smell the coffee, and now you just smell the sewer. So any help would be great. In downtown Allen Shield, KMBC 9 News. You may have seen those mesh bag blocks hanging from the top of the sewer. They dissolve over time, releasing the chemicals.